There are a variety of different types of drills on the market today, but the three most common are the standard hand drill, the combination hammer drill, and the impact driver. There are some specialty drivers like the large hole augers and the automatic screw feeders and the rotary hammer, but the safety will all be similar. The common older drill is corded and some require a chuck key to seat the drill in the chuck. They are usually more powerful and will obviously last longer than battery versions. We're going to set those aside for ease of viewing during this safety demonstration. The combination hammer drill is named that because it has a setting for drilling into masonry where the bit not only needs to spin, but it needs the chipping action by way of a hammering feature to break up the material. This is not the same as an impact driver, which also hammers with a bit, but in a circular direction instead. Drilling operations will be the same as a standard drill, so I will cover that later. Some drill guns include a speed setting feature, low, medium, and fast depending on screwing, using big drill bits, and the fast option for drilling with little bits. In addition to the speed setting, there is also a clutch mechanism so you won't use as much torque when drilling or screwing. This way you won't drive the screw in too far or bind up the bit. I will demonstrate this a bit later. The standard drill setting is set using the highest torque and no clutch for when you are using smaller bits. Drills usually have a forward, a reverse, and a locked position. Always lock the control when you are done using it so that the drill will not start accidentally when it falls over in your tool bag as you are driving down the freeway and then starts drilling through other tools. Some parts on a drill are considered safety features. Some drills have an LED light that comes on upon depressing the trigger. Some drills have a level included on the top. Some drills have a belt hook and a drill clip. Some drills have brushes and some are brushless. The brushless motors tend to cost more but have less friction so the battery life will last longer per charge. Battery drills come in an array of different voltages depending on the size and the need. The more professional versions are usually an 18 or a 20 volt. The newer batteries should not be run down completely before being recharged and they should also be taken off the charger as soon as they have been completely charged. Most fast charges will do the majority of the charging within the first hour and top it off slowly after that. Newer batteries will also have an indicator that tells how charged the battery is. Try not to let the battery sit in the direct sunlight as they will not charge when they get too hot. Most newer drills are variable speed, meaning the harder you pull the trigger, the faster it will spin. This is an excellent feature when you only want to drill in a certain depth. To place a drill bit or a twist drill into the chuck, there is a right way and a wrong way. The wrong way takes less time, so I will demonstrate that way. Hold onto the chuck with one hand and use the forward and reverse toggle to close and open the jaws to the size you need. Bigger drill guns will have larger diameter openings. Once the jaws are open enough to insert the bit, slide it in while palming the chuck with the rest of your hand. Once the bit has been set far enough back to gain proper purchase on the bit, slowly engage the motor forward to close the jaws around the bit. Once firmly engaged, let off the motor and use your hand to finish torquing it down tight. Check to make sure hexagonal bits are resting firmly against the sides as these are easy to catch diagonally. To take the bit back out, Reverse the process. Hold the bit in your fingers 
while palming the jaws of the chuck and then reverse the drill to break loose the jaws. Notice how I hold my fingers on the bit. If you do not hold the bit when reversing, sometimes the bit will spin out of control and drop and get damaged or broken. If you have smaller hands, sometimes this method is not possible and you must complete these actions without the assistance of the drill motor. Twist drills should be placed far enough out so the jaws do not clamp on the flutes. The standard drill usually has all the same features as the hammer drill minus the hammer action and the larger motor. The last most common drill driver is the impact drill. The torque of the impact action is impressive and it is easy to strip out smaller screws without trying. Bits for this gun should be rated for impact use or else there is a possibility of them shearing or exploding. The only feature that I haven't talked about on this gun is the quarter inch drive chuck. Twist drills must have the quarter inch hexagonal head and to be inserted just need to be pushed into the chuck. To remove the bit, pull away from the body of the drill on the chuck and then slip the bit out. Bits must have the locking notch to not fall out during use.